Guys, what even is a cozy game? You know, in Norway, we often say that something is cozy. We say it's kosli. We use that so much, but somehow I have been thinking for so many years that describing something as cozy, it doesn't sound right in the English language. But I'm seeing more and more YouTubers using this term to describe like Animal Crossing, Farming Sims, Life Simulators. And I remember like back in 2016, I said a game was cozy and I felt stupid when I said it. But now confirmed, cozy genre is here to stay. I will tell you about what I could consider to be cozy games on the Switch. But like, what is even the definition of cozy? Is Skyrim cozy? Some YouTubers even say that boring or repetitive games are cozy. Some are saying that combat-less games are cozy because there's no combat. What is cozy to you? Leave a comment down below about that. So I made a list. The cozy games that I recommend for you would be the new game Disney Dreamlight Valley. I am obsessed with this game currently. I am playing it every single day. Now this game is of course a Disney game developed by Gameloft, the old Java game company, lol. So this is a life simulator with farming elements and you do quests for Disney characters. It's basically a game where you can do just about anything. You have these Dreamlight missions and they work much like Nook Miles from Animal Crossing crossing if you remember those. In this game you can customize just about everything. You can customize the town and the layout of the town. You can decorate, you can purchase furniture, decorate your home, customize yourself, your clothes. It's just a really good life simulator right now. But I have to mention that this game is currently in early access, which means that the game is not finished. They are still developing and working on this game. So have that in mind when you see the bugs and the struggling performances, especially on the Switch version. Now you can see what the Switch version looks like. It is struggling to say the least. But I did buy this game on the Switch because this game supports Cloud save and I can continue on my Xbox, I can continue on my PC seamlessly between every single console and system, which is wonderful. So that I can bed game the game on the terrible running Switch version, but I'm just saying that this is a good game. I would still recommend this on the Switch if that is your only system or current system. But that said, I'm gonna say that this game is also out on Xbox Game Pass, which I find to be the best version currently of Dreamlight Valley. Game Pass is not only Xbox One and Series X, it's also the PC app. So I'm playing this also on PC, which is just the best version. Now I'm looking forward to the future of this game. They are probably gonna drop a lot of Disney characters and franchises over the coming years. I hope so. Like Pocahontas, Hercules, Tarzan. They really have a lot to dig into when it comes to Disney. And there's just something about the fun factor of the game. It is so cozy. I am in love with the game already, even though it is early access and not done, not finished. But Disney Dreamlight Valley, guys, now you need to play it. I am saying play it on Xbox Game Pass and if you just don't have a PC or an Xbox, play it on the Switch. It is just so cozy. Now the next cozy game I would recommend for you would be the Atelier series. They are my cozy series. The best ones, in my opinion, being the Risas. Risa 1 and Risa 2. Risa 2 is actually being the very best. But I would actually like to highlight some Atelier games that I haven't talked about too much. That would be Atelier Lydia and Suel, which is a very cozy game. There's just something about Lydia and Suel. I often think of this game and there are a lot of Atelier games, but this one you are following along these twins and they are so funny when they interact with each other. I like these twins and I like that the game is making you jump into magical paintings, visiting a lot of magical worlds where you can gather a lot of materials for your synthesis. It's all very nice. 
highly recommend Atelier Lydian as well if you're looking for a cozy time. I feel like this game has drowned in the eShop and I don't see a lot of cozy lists mentioning this one in particular. I'm also gonna highlight Atelier Ferris which I have had a wonderful time in. Now this is the title in the series where they try to go more open world. So you explore vast areas, much more open world like. And if that is your thing, I recommend Atelier Fieris for you. Also, I want to mention Atelier Lulua, which is just one of the actually prettier games. Very visually pretty. And Lulua is also incredibly likable. Now, in Lulua, you have this alchemy riddle book, which I found to be a fun addition in this specific title. They always change some things up between the Atelier games. So now you have gotten three recommendations, which are sort of lesser known, because Risa has taken over the world and now Sophie too, but they are absolutely worth checking out. Another game that I could consider cozy is the Harvestella demo. I'm just currently playing the demo. I'm just gonna have that said. I am halfway through the demo and so far I am liking the game. I'm liking the story. You meet this girl who is a time traveler from the future and I can really appreciate time traveling stories. But I have to be honest with you guys, this game is also struggling somewhat. I mean, the graphics are a little bit blurry but that seems to be a common theme amongst a lot of Switch games. But I still recommend that you try out the demo and I think the story so far is good. Now what else is cozy? I think everyone agrees that farming games and life simulators are what is defining the cozy term when it comes to games on the Switch. We're talking on the Switch. But I mean, a lot of these games are on PlayStation 2 and PC. It is Rune Factory 5. I love this game. Still love Rune Factory 5. I jump into it from time to time now. I feel like I've done everything in the game, seen everything, done everything, but I feel still drawn back to it because of the feelings that the game has provided me. <laughs> Why? And I was very addicted to it. Highly recommend that as a cozy game. In a lot of ways it is a game that has everything that I want. There's farming, it's a life simulator, dating sim, <laughs> it has dungeons, action combat, magic, you can tame and ride monsters, collect monsters. There's a lot of addictive elements in this game which I find to be cozy. There are quests, you can decorate your home and you can level up in everything, which is also super addicting. It's just such a game and it is on the Switch and you should play that if you're looking for something cozy. Now I'm gonna mention a few more farming games that I consider really good right now on the Switch and I would say Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, which is also providing to me all the feelings and all the elements that I'm looking for in a good farming game. I reviewed this game also and I am pretty sure that I gave it a pretty good score because I remember being addicted as I I tend to get with games that has a lot of fun elements where you are progressing towards something all the time. Cozy, I guess we could say. It is just a stellar farming game with a farm, farm animals, mines that you can delve into, a museum that you can donate to, and fishing, and all these classic life sim elements. And I think the charm of games like these is that you can sink a ton of hours into them. Now, I don't think I can make a Cozy Games video without mentioning the undeniably cozy game of Animal Crossing. Now, listen up, yeah, a lot of you have played it already. I am in what I consider to be the end game of Animal Crossing, but I think that Animal Crossing is to blame for the definition of cozy gaming. I think it is a must have, at least a must try, because it is a very chill game. You're not saving the world, you're not fighting anything. But I think that is what makes it unique, because it is somewhat unlike a lot of other games. 
because there's no super main objective, there is no saving the world, there's no fighting, there's no leveling in anything. It's just a life. It's a life sim in all ways. I mean, you pay off your mortgage, you get to know thy neighbors, and you give them gifts and small tasks within the neighborhood. You fish and you collect bugs to donate to your local museum. I mean, it's just a chill island life. And you can also play multiplayer with friends. And since I feel like I have seen and done everything that I want to do in the game, I dip back to Animal Crossing right now only for one reason, and that is if I have a friend that's currently playing it, which I do have, I like to jump into it for the multiplayer part as of right now. It's a fun game to play together with friends, visit their island and they can visit my island and we can swap furniture. It's that sort of game for me right now though. I don't play it active anymore. Let's do one more cozy game. I do consider this one as one of the cozy ones, and it is Nino Kuni. It's a freaking wonderful and unique masterpiece of a video game. This is mega cozy. It's like a fantastic storytelling fairy tale like RPG where you play as this young boy who is whisked away to another world. So in Nino Kuni, you collect monsters, you sail, you fly, you meet these amazing characters, and you enjoy an incredible story. Very memorable stuff. I also reviewed this scam. Link in the corner. Maybe I've run out of links in the corner, so check the description if that is the case. But yeah, very good. Nino Kuni is also one that I would consider really cozy. Now I want to hear what do you consider cozy on the Switch as a game, as anything. I consider Skyrim as cozy, but that is probably just me. Now listen to this disc. New episode out now. There's always a new episode. Now, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.